Hi, everyone. I hope you are well. Um, we are going to try our very best to have some English lessons online so you can still continue studying even though we are practicing social distancing. Today, I am going to talk about the census. What is a census? A census is when the government counts all the people in, the, in a country. So why do we do the census? Why is it important to count everyone in a country? Before we answer that question, we should think a little bit about what is the government? And what is the government in the United States of America? First, we can think of the Constitution. The Constitution is a special document that sets up the government. The Constitution tells us what rules we must follow and what rules our government must follow. One of those rules is that every person must be counted every 10 years. Once again, this is called the census. There are three branches of government, the legislative branch, executive branch, and judicial branch. Congress makes up the legislative branch. The president makes up the executive branch. And the judicial branch is made up of the Supreme Courts and our court system. For this lesson today, we are going to talk a little bit more about the legislative branch. So the legislative branch is divided into two houses, the Senate and the House of Representatives. The Senate has a hundred senators. Each state has two senators. The House of Representatives has 435 congressmen and women. This is very important to the census because the number of representatives each state gets depends on the number of people living in that state or living in special districts within a state. So if there are more people living in a state, they will have more representatives. So before we talk a little bit about money and why the census is important for money, let's talk just a second more about the House of Representatives. Because more people will equate or more people will result in greater representation or more political power, more strength. That means if you are counted, the chances of having a congressperson who speaks up for you is higher. So we count the people in America every 10 years. If we know how many people live in America, live in Colorado, live in Aurora, we can give money for important things. So for example, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight people here. Okay, good, they are all counted for. We have these individuals raising their hands, showing that they need money for important things. 
like Medicaid, roads, and of course schools. If we don't count you, America thinks you are not here. There are no people on this road. There is no one here. We don't need roads here. There are no children here. There are no children in the classroom. We don't need schools. If we don't count you, we think you are not here. When the government thinks about America, they can only think about people they can count. For example, maybe the government looks, hmm, I don't see any Korean people. I don't see any Rohingya people. They don't need help. Hmm. I don't see any Somali people. They don't need interpreters. So this is why taking the census is very important. It gives us political power. It helps us make our voice heard, our voice loud in a democracy, and it gives us more money for important things like roads, Medicaid, schools. It keeps our communities strong. So what does the census look like? The first thing we need to think about is we can take the census online. We can take the census on a computer. That may sound a little scary or a little confusing. We will do our best to create another video with teacher McKaylee to talk about taking the census on a computer. We can also take the census on the phone. We will create a lesson on that too. Here in April, we will see the census form in the mail. This is what the census looks like in the mail. We will also see, hopefully, census workers knocking on the door. When you get the census in the mail, it will come like a letter. It will be a very thick letter. You may think, hmm, I got a letter in the mail that says census, but it is not big. It is small. The first letter is the letter to tell you, go take it on the computer. Go online. A reminder. The second letter from the census, letter two, will be bigger and have more inside of it. Once you get the census form in the mail, you will fill out the form with your information. You will then put the form in the mail. The form is in English, but if you need a copy in your home language, you can let me know and we can try to find a language guide 
language help to have the questions in your home language. Sometimes we fill out the census, we go, oh, good, perfect, put in the mail, but then we, oh, we forget one part, something little. If we forget, that's okay. A census worker will come help you. Remember, a census worker will have a badge. This is a little card that has their name, photo, and expiration date. A census worker will have a bag and a computer with census 2020 on it. It is important to know census workers do not, do not tell your information to anyone. It's a secret. And it's a promise, a legal promise. They do not tell your boss. They do not tell your, your landlord. They do not tell your neighbors. They do not tell the police. Anything you say on the census is secret. And the census workers make a very serious promise to not tell or share your information. So remember guys, fill out the census when you see it. It is coming in April. Don't forget, this is very important for political power. It's very important for money for our community, and also important to know, it is the law. It is a law in our constitution, and it is important that you are counted. If you have any questions, if you need help, let me know, let teacher McKaylee know, and we will keep making videos to try to make it a little easier. Have a good day and stay healthy. Bye guys.